Hi guys, this is Rachel and this video is going to be my skincare routine and what products I use and how I use them. Um, I thought it was very important whilst doing this video to actually show my natural skin completely bare with no makeup whatsoever my eyebrows aren't even filled in and i've just come out of the bath and i just thought this would be a better way to show you how i take care of my skin so in the bath i use exfoliating gloves the ones that you wear like these okay and most people use shower gels and all that but my skin is very sensitive and I will break out and my skin will just go funny um, using normal shower gel so I featured this in my last video but I used the aqueous cream you can get this from anywhere Sainsbury's, Tesco, um, Boot, Superdrug um, or you can get these from your doctors prescribed these cost from about 250 upwards depending where you get them from and I actually use this to wash Ooh. it's very creamy it looks like that and I use this to wash it's very safe on my skin it had it hardly has any um, chemicals in it so yeah I use that and once I've washed I like to scrub my face a little extra so I use sea salt and this is the costa fine sea salt looks like that and what i do is i pour it on my in the palm of my hands rub it together um and literally just put it on my face my hands are damp put it in my hands and scrub my face with it you can either do it gently or a little bit harder depend on how you like it and I like to scrub my face quite hard because um, I don't like pimples or spots so yeah <laughs> so that's what I do and um, after that towel dry and then I like to cleanse my face which I'm going to do now and I've always used this um, Palmer's and this is Palmer Skin Success Deep Cleansing Facial Astrogent with Vitamin E and it says removes dirt and oil that soap can't reach which it does and this is what it looks like it's kind of like a a yellowy colour so what I do is get a cotton pad or whatever you like to use put some on so it looks like that don't know if the camera's picking up and then I cleanse my face with it like this this has got alcohol in it so um yeah your eyes might water a bit and then I take it to my neck and at the back people always seem to forget to do the back of the neck that's why um, the neck is very dark and horrible looking and it stains your shirt and plus our hair has chemicals in it from like you know the hairsprays and all that and you need to clean those places properly and thoroughly so I'm gonna get some more of this and just cleanse your face until the cotton pad is white don't forget around the lips and the nose and most importantly that my mother taught me when I was younger sometimes you see people with loads of bumps around their nose and that's because sometimes they just don't get rid of the pores in them so what you need to do is using the cotton pad get your nose use it and push it upwards so once you push it like that and up like that all the pus will come out of the nose trust me it works and you're going to be disgusted when you see it <laughs> but yeah um 
just continue cleansing. My face, I like to cleanse very, very well. to squeeze your nose and around the ears you clean the ears inside it get rid of all the dirt and your hair sits on your ears as well so make sure your face is properly cleansed so after cleansing I like to tone I know it seems a lot but it's worth it and um, your skin needs to be really clean so i get more cotton pads and then i use the toner and it's still skin success um by palmers and this is the even toner and this has um tea tree oil and it removes dead skin cells and refreshes and leaves the skin balanced so that's what this looks like and this is a blue liquid so I'm going to do the same again, but not as intense. Just apply some to the cotton pad. It's going to look like that, blue. And just cleanse. Try not to go around the eyes because the eyes are quite sensitive. So just stay away from that. And this will just help even and tone your skin. My skin always feels incredibly clean when I do this. Just around the neck. And when you finish, look at your cotton pad and you will see the dead skin cells on there. And you won't be impressed. <laughs> um, so now it's time to moisturize and I featured this as well as my cleansers and toners in the last video but I have clear touch here and this in the bigger bottle and this is amazing it is a toilet milk well toilette milk treatment and this softens the skin and makes it feel nice and soft and silky and it also helps um even out your complexion and fade away like the dark spots and everything but um it's very good to read ingredients you just want to make sure there's no bleaching ingredients in your moisturizers when it comes to fading but um yeah i love this my mother used this as well so um this is clear touch number one so i get get that and just add what I want on the palm of my hands and moisturize. I like to use <laughs> I look weird but I like to use enough for my skin. Let's take it around the neck. Some people don't use enough moisturiser and they just look dry. You just have to make sure you use enough and massage it well into the skin. And this helps firm the skin as well. Just massage your neck upwards. I look so weird but it needs to be done. So that's what my skin looks like after I have a wash, exfoliate, scrub, um, cleanse, tone and moisturise. So this is my skin raw, naturally. Okay, so that's how I, um, that's my skin routine. Plus, um, I mentioned earlier that I used 
the salt to scrub my face I also use this on my lips whilst I'm in the bath so I take a bit of the salt and just rub it on my lips gently or hard um, depending on how you like it and this gets rid of all the dry skin and just makes the lips feel soft and delicious and luscious and just prepped for lip gloss lipsticks whatever you want to use it just makes it easier to um, apply basically also on my body I like to use sheer butter so what I use on my face to moisturize is completely different to what I use on my body I like to use this I don't know if you can see that it's organic sheer butter and it's by the company called fresh skin um, this whole bag cost about five pounds and it's normally filled to about this much and this is how sheer butter is supposed to look like the sheer butter that you see that is yellow that's just yellow African butter but it's not actually sheer butter but it's labeled as sheer butter but this is the color of organic sheer butter and it comes in these big solid parts that you break away um, a lot of people have asked me how I actually use this on my skin since it's so hard. So what I do is I take parts of this and put it in a clear glass jar. So something like this. And then I leave it on the radiator to melt. And then it turns into an oil. This is almost finished. As you can see there, it turns into a liquid like that so it's easier to apply so once you put it on it looks like that and you can apply it nicely on the skin instead of rubbing it so hard against the skin so yeah this is amazing um it works on every part of the body the hair the skin and the lips i use it on my lips and it's just so nice you need to try it see <laughs> um, so yeah that's the shea butter that I like to use on my skin and just what I use to remove my makeup sometimes I use a flannel with hot water but my favorite are these Huggies wipes and this is impure and this says gentle cleaning like cotton wool and water there's hardly any ingredients in there nothing harsh no alcohol no perfume and the actual wipes itself are very thick so you know you get some wipes that you use and once you wipe your face or wherever you wipe it tears this is very um thick and if this wipe can wipe stuff from a baby's bum it's going to wipe your makeup off very well so yeah this is what i use to wipe my makeup off and one quick tip when it comes to your spots um you shouldn't always pop your spots it depends on what type of spot it is some of the spots will come and go away on its own especially when it's like big and red and then you other you have other spots that have like the pus in it please 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 do not use your fingernails to ever pop your spots because you will damage your skin and you will scar your skin either use your knuckles and put it together but the best um tip is these cotton buds they're soft and you pop squeeze them and your skin is left fine okay so yeah that's my skin routine tip advice for now so um i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please feel free to ask me and if you have any other videos you'd like to see please feel free to ask me as well follow rfa beauty on twitter at rfa beauty and i'll leave all the links below for rfa beauty and have a wonderful night evening morning afternoon wherever you are and i'll see you in my next video Bye. Mwah.